Welcome back. Well, let's get talking to another management that came out with what was a good set of numbers. We have Mr. Rath, the president and CEO of Ortel Communications, joining in to talk about their performance this quarter. Hi, sir. Thanks very much uh, for joining in. Your total income was largely led by your infra leasing revenue. Can you just tell us how exactly this segment performed and what it comprises of and your guidance as well? Okay. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, now, before answering your question, can I just quickly take you through uh, the snapshots of the result? Uh, uh, can I do that? Uh, sure. We, we do already have your numbers. So, uh, just to uh, talk more okay. in depth about it, if you could focus on the infra leasing segment for us. Okay, infra leasing is a segment uh, where we, uh, you know, we build our last mile network uh, intracity uh, across the markets where we operate and which is extremely fiber rich and these fiber uh, networks are used by other corporates including telecom guys for their data transfer. So we have a relationship with many telecom players where uh, we lease out their infrastructure for intercity uh, data movement and they lease out our infrastructure for intra-city. So this is the income uh, coming uh, from leasing out of our existing pipe uh, and that has grown uh, sharply over last uh, four to six quarters. Uh, but more than that, what I want to point out is that if you look at our retail business, uh, I'm sure you already have the numbers, mm. uh, the, our subscriber base uh, each, as on 30th September is 572,000, which was 530,000 as on 31st March. Mm -hmm. So that's a growth of 42,000. Sure. And if you see the trend, the Q1 had a growth of 12,000, whereas Q2, uh, this growth has more than doubled to around 30,000. Okay. Uh, uh, now, over and above this, there is a 65,000 uh, subscribers which is signed up with various local sure. operators and are yet to be reported okay, because yes. we report it after integration to our own network. Okay, Mr. Rath, so we are also seeing a very strong growth in the retail subscriber base. Sure, sure, Mr. Rath, that, po that point is taken, Mr. Rath, since, you know, we, we have a bit of a limited time at our disposal right now, I just want to understand on your broadband and cable business where we saw quite a bit of decline in margin. Uh, if you could tell us what happened there. Uh, not really, there is no decline in the margin. Uh, as, as I have mentioned earlier, the ARPUs in this business remain more or less uh, stable. It, it doesn't grow much. Uh, so the most of the revenue and the EBITDA growth comes from the subscriber base. Hmm. And there is a healthy trend, uh, in fact a very strong trend in the growth in subscribers. Our broadband growth in the first half of this year is over 5,000 numbers. Uh, which, which has surpassed the last year full fiscal and the cable TV growth is uh, extremely strong as I just mentioned. Sure. The total subscriber has grown by 42,000 and there is a pipeline of 65,000. Okay, there's a pipeline of 65,000. We've completely run out of time. So quickly, if you could just leave us with what exactly your ARPU or your average revenue per user was this quarter. Oh, our output uh, for the analog service is 143 rupees, for the digital service 183 rupees and for the broadband service it's 395 rupees which is net of taxes. That's, that's what comes to our income. And the growth year on year or Q on Q? Uh, it, it's pretty much stable actually. The ARPU uh, remains more or less stable. The revenues get driven by the growth in subscriber base. And as I mentioned earlier, we are completely on track sure. for achieving our target of uh, 1 million subscribers in the two years. Okay. And that's what will drive the revenue and EBITDA. All right. Fair enough. So we leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and talking to us. So that's Hotel Communication. For the Nifty, we are absolutely stagnant, up around 0.16%, uh, just about consolidating. Time for a break now. But we have another corporate lined up next, Camp and Homes, which uh, delivered a good set of numbers and the stock is outperforming today.